to bind or not to bind? That is the question. What's up YouTube, Hope and Nickel Barbecue back with you again. Today we're gonna to do some testing. Uh, we've got four pork butts here. Uh, this one has no binder on it. This one has olive oil. This one has just yellow mustard. And this one has uh, mayonnaise. Um, you watch different videos, people use different things. We're gonna see basically which one of these four has the better bark when we're done. Um, everything's getting thrown on the Humphreys Downey's Beast. That's what you might hear in the background right now. Uh, we're running that up to around 275 and I tried to find a rub that basically everybody can get at their local store so I went with this Grillmates Applewood rub um, grocery store you can find it basically what we're doing is we're keeping everything constant outside of the binder or lack thereof of binder all right I'm gonna get this rub on all these and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done All right, guys, we're back. Um, I've kind of this was an interesting process because I started with the olive oil one, then I moved over to the mustard one, then I did the one with no binder, and then I did the mayonnaise last. Um, it's amazing to me. I'll switch you guys over to camera too. The amount this rub is an orangish color, and obviously this is the last one we did. How much it it gets absorbed, and it's turning this nice color red. Uh, before I forget, uh, Downey's Beast is just about fired up. We're gonna run with uh, cherry and one small piece of mesquite. I've been kind of enjoying doing that lately. All right, I'm gonna get these transferred over. I'm gonna put them all on the same shelf. Hopefully they fit. That way it keeps everything standardized. I'll bring you back when we're at the pit. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see here, I made the little dry erase board. This is the back of the smoker. This is the door here. So the mustard one is on the front right, olive oil, front left, no binder, back left, mayonnaise, back right. I learned a lesson a second ago, I gotta take this down because when I close the door, it falls off. So there you go, you can see everybody's in the pool. We got the water in the water pan. We've got smoke coming from the uh, cherry wood. Bring you back in a couple hours. All right guys, we're about two hours in. Thought I'd show you guys kinda color we're getting. All right, we're gonna wrap this out. We're not gonna wrap these. Um, bring it back uh, later on. What's up guys? We're about four and a half hours in. I just wanted to give you guys a peek what everything's looking like. Color is getting amazing. Uh, this is where I would normally wrap, but we're gonna run this without a wrap. All right guys, it's uh, 6.15, so that puts us at seven hours of cooking time. Um, the stalls on these have been crazy. It's dark. We're about to lose light. Let you guys take a peek here real quick. The bark looks amazing. It's just I'm running out of daylight here, so I wanted to give you one last shot before it's basically pitch black out here and it's gonna be hard to see. Um, I'm gonna try to get this all pulled apart, uh, get a sample of each one, kinda try to figure out what landed where. When we get to that point, I'll bring it back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, left side is no binder. Next one's mayonnaise. Next one's mustard. Right side's olive oil. Did you guys take a peek at this? They all came out really good. This is going to be, once I get this pieces broke out, hopefully there's a, a clear decision, but just looking at the outside of these, they're looking pretty much identical. All right, guys, we're back. I pulled off a chunk each. Um, so here's the nun. It's got a good smoke ring. Here's the mayonnaise. Decent smoke ring. Mustard. 
decent smoke ring. Uh, olive oil, very good smoke ring. So if we're going on smoke ring alone, I think you have to go with none and olive oil. If you're going just by bark, I can't see that there's a difference in quality of bark across any of these. So I think on the bark issue, it's pretty much a wash. Um, if we're going on smoke ring, I don't know that's a fair comparison. Like I'm trying to tear this apart here and see a difference. There's a little bit in here on the mustard, but on the no binder, you're getting a lot, a lot of red. On the olive oil, same thing there. At this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold judgment on on smoke ring. I'm gonna go with the bark. I'm gonna call it a wash. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and want to be, hit the subscribe button. And you know my thing with the bell. Hit the bell, don't hit the bell, don't care. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.